Hey guys, it's me. Sorry I haven't been uploading too much recently. I've uh, been a little busy because school just ended for me, just finished my exams and stuff. Summer just started, so I'm going to try and upload a bit more. But anyways, today we're going to be looking at masking in Sony Vegas. I'm going to say this right now, that this will only work in Sony Vegas Pro. If you have the Movie Studio or Platinum Editions, um, this will not work. So to check your version, just go up here to the Help and go to About Vegas, and then it'll show all your details. As you can see, my serial number and machine ID, they're all blurred out. And to blur out specific ports portions of your video, you're going to mask, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's get started. I'll just close this right away, and let's import some video. Go to File, Import Media, and then uh, I'm just going to drag in this flowers clip that I got off the internet. It's just royalty-free stock footage, and that means there's no copyrights, so it's all good. I'm going to remove the audio because I don't need it. It's just annoying. Don't need it. So yeah. Now to access the masking option, go to your event pan slash crop. It's right here. It's this little white square on your video clip. and Or you can right click on it and go to a video event pan slash crop. And then here's the window. If the video window thing shows up over here or somewhere else, uh, it's easy to fix. Just take these six vertical dots and just drag them out. And then here it is. So what I'm going to do is make a mask that takes out about half the video. So let's go down here to where it says position mask and have that checked. And now go over here to the anchor creation tool. And what we're going to do is create a very simple mask. So you can uh, mask outside the video. So I'll just click here. Then let's uh, make a new anchor right about halfway. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then just click outside here. And then here. And you always want to finish your mask by clicking on the original point. And there we go. We have a simple mask. If I exit this window, you'll see that the left portion of the video, which is the masked portion, the masked portion will remain and the unmasked portion will be opaque. So if I go over here, I can uh, right click. But, well, first go to the normal edit tool over here, right click, and then go to reset mask. And now if I do it over here, go to anchor creation tool first. And let's just make a mask on this side. Exit this, and now it's on that side. Now if you want to uh, change which side it's uh, masked without having to redo the mask, just go over to the mode and then change it to negative, and it will switch the mask. I just usually leave it on positive and then there's also disabled which is pretty pointless so just leave it on positive or negative it doesn't really matter now when you're masking you're always 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 gonna wanna feather it so go to the feather type and then you can have an inwards feather and outwards feather or both which is what I use most of the time so just pick your feather and then you're gonna wanna like have it at least greater than five percent I'll just keep it at like twenty two for now and if we look it'll see you got a nice blurred line here rather than a sharp one so yeah usually you're gonna wanna feather your masks now let's do some cool effects. So I'm going to go to my video event pan slash crop and I'm just going to change the mode to negative so that uh, the effects show up on the left side rather than the right side. Now what we need to do is bring in our clip and essentially just duplicate the track. What you could do is right click on the track and hit duplicate but then the mask remains. So what I do is I just, let me remove this first. What I usually do is I just drag in the new clip all over again and make sure that the unmasked clip is on the bottom and that the masked clip is on the top. Okay, so now if, if we look at it, like there's nothing different, it's it looks totally normal. But what's really happening is the top clip is masked and the bottom clip isn't. And you can't tell right now, but if I drag it in a video effect like infrared, and we put that on here, you'll see that the masked clip is uh, infrared and the right clip isn't. So I'm just going to remove this and let's do something like night. We'll put the night on and then there you go. You can see that the, the left clip is night vision I guess it's not really night vision it's night time and then the right clip is more bright and as you can see the line is nice and blurred because we feathered it but if I remove the feather by going to the feather type none you'll see that the lines really hard and that you don't ever want that you want it to look nice and clean so that's why you always want to have a feather on see if you put on feather inward and then put it like really high you can see that the feather goes t it goes like inside of the mask or actually, it's not really going inside the mask, it's going outside, but you can see the feathers going out right now, and if we change it to out, it'll go in the opposite direction, like that. I just keep it on both, because it's like nice and simple. You can also keyframe your mask so that it moves over time. This is called rotoscoping, it's pretty advanced, I'll just go over it quickly right now, but I will do a future tutorial on this, so if you don't understand rotoscoping completely by the end of this video, don't worry, I'll have a rotoscoping video out later. Okay, so let's go to our masking over here, and as you can see, we got our keyframes here. Now, if you don't see the keyframes, hang on a sec. Here's the keyframes. If you don't see them, it'll look like this. If you don't see them, just go down here and just drag them up. 
So yeah, that's what you want to do if you don't see your keyframes. Sorry, I just get that question asked all the time. So go to your keyframes. Let's adjust the playhead to like the one second mark. And let's go to our normal edit tool. Click outside of the mask. Now let's go back to the anchor. Oh, I actually clicked inside. Get okay, Go outside. Then click on one of the anchors. And then we can move it. And let's just move all four anchors towards the middle. Whoa. Okay. That's kind of screwed up. Now if it does stuff like that where it screws up, just undo it. And then hold down Alt. And then click on the anchor. And then it will just reset it. And there you go. Or wait. Once you reset the anchor, you need to go back to the normal edit tool, click outside the mask, and then adjust it. So yeah, that's what you want to do if it gets all screwy. So there we go. We just put a keyframe on our mask. Now if we exit this, uh, let me just change the mode again to positive. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to remove the feather so you can really tell what's happening. So I'm going to remove the feather, and as you can see, the mask is like where the effect is, and then outside the mask is where the effect is not happening. I'm going to put the playhead to the beginning and I'm just going to do a quick RAM preview so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, when you play your video it's going to probably be really laggy depending on how good your computer is so what I do is I go up here to the preview quality and just change it to like draft half and then it'll be poor quality but it'll play smoothly. Right now I'm just doing a RAM preview so you can see like what's really going on. If you need to know how to do a RAM preview just uh, select the video from the loop region over here and then hit shift and B and it's almost finished right here it looks like something didn't go right let me check that out as soon as this finishes so I'm gonna play this yeah as you can see um, it's all feathered and stuff it's looks good but as soon as it like really hits it just goes from here to like really sharp and that's just because at the end of the keyframe I switched the mode to positive if we keep it at negative you'll tell and then if I put the feather back on, it'll look a bit better. But anyways, that's how you rotoscope. But I'll just show you quickly. So here's the beginning of the video. Looks all good. And then at the end, the mask centers in on the left side of the video. That's how you do a basic spotlight effect. So yeah, that's the basics of masking. It's really not that complicated. Uh, so I didn't really go too, detail, too into detail on rotoscoping. I'll do that later. But I hope that you found this tutorial useful and that you learned how to mask a bit. And uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.